Okay, so this video is for my crafters who keep trying to put square pictures on circle items. Okay, we're going to stop doing that. It doesn't look good. So here we go. I am in Silhouette. Okay, this is I'm one of the programs that I design in. It's free if you get the free version, but you can get the business edition. I think I paid like $40 for it, and I do a lot of my designing here. So let's go. First of all, I'm going to go. Oh, first, go to Google and just find a random circle. Okay. And save it to your computer. Just a random circle. So I'm going to go to File. I'm going to go to Merge. And then I have all my um, SG SVGs and stuff in here. So I'm going to go find my circle. Oh, there it is right there. Boom. Just a random circle. It was like probably the first or second circle I saw on Google. Okay. Boom. There's my circle. I'm going to bring it down to about a three because a lot of my items, like my pins, are um, three centimeters. Okay. So that's the circle right there. Then I'm going to go to open the trace panel. Okay, I'm going to go to select trace area. Okay, I'm going to cover the whole circle. Right? And then I'm going to click trace. Okay, now check this out. Boom, you see that? Delete. Now, if you look, you have two circles kind of you see the two rims we only need one so I'm just gonna tap on this circle right click and go to release compound path boom click away click on it boom delete now you have your circle so what I'm gonna do now is go grab a picture so I'm gonna go up here to file merge I'm going to, let's just say I'm going to use this 80s collage, right? See how big that is. That's definitely too big. So I'm going to click it and I'm going to go down here. Or well, not down here, but up here at the top and put in three for the width and the height. Enter, right? So now it's three centimeters like the circle is, but it's a square. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my picture, drag it over the circle. Okay. Now, if you need to, you can bring the circle to the front. So you can see the circle, actually. So I'm going to right click on my picture and I'm going to say move to the back. So now you can see where your circle is. If you can look in there, you see the circle. And right here, you have a little bit of the white showing. You don't want that to show. So you're going to bring um, your picture. You're going to stretch it. You want to cover the whole circle. You want to cover everything, right? You're stretching. You don't have to go too far. Just right around the border, right around the edge, because you don't want any white parts showing, okay? So figure out what part of the picture you don't mind getting cut off now that my image has completely filled my circle I'm going to highlight the oh shoot highlight the whole image which is you need to click away from the image okay highlight it and then go to open modify panel and click crop and boom, look what you have. A freaking circle. <laughs> and you can make it whatever size you need to make it. I had it at 3.0. You can do it at 5 if you need to. You know what I'm saying? So y'all, please stop putting square pictures on circle items. Okay? We're going to stop doing that. All right. Hope that helps.